Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you're watching my channel Graphics Den. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the auto select option which is there in the move tool. It can be confusing for some people. So let's find out. So I have taken some of the shapes and each shape is on a different layer as you can see. And there is also one group of layers here. Uh, it is named as group one. So if I select the move tool, we have this option called as auto select. So first of all, let me turn this option off and let's see what happens. So once this is off, we cannot select the layers only by clicking on it because we need to either click on the layers panel, use the layers panel and click on the layer just like this. Or we can simply right click and choose the layer name like this. Right click and choose the layer name. So this is how we can select and move any layer in Photoshop using the move tool. But once we turn on this option, there are two options in this as well, layer and group. So first of all, I will keep layer. So it will select a separate layer every time. So if I click left click on this, it will be selected automatically just like in Adobe Illustrator. So left click, it will be selected any layer like this. So you might think that this is a very useful option. So why turn this option off? There is a reason why people don't turn this option on or people don't use this option. I will show you. But first, let me show you how the group option works in the auto select option. So if I choose group, then it will in one click, it will select the entire group like this. So as we have seen earlier, these are three separate layers. But still, if I click on one of the layers, it will select the entire group like this. So it is pretty useful. But what is the reason that people don't use it? So let's say if I, let's say I will decrease the size of this layer like this. Now, when we work with uh, complex designs or multiple layers and overlapping layers, then it can be a bit problematic. So this layer is on top and as you can see the circle is behind this hexagon. So using the auto select option, so I can easily move this top layer. But if I select this all bottom layer or the layer which is behind, but if I try to move this, the top layer is selected because it is in front of the circle. So every time, even if I select this ellipse, I have selected the ellipse as you can see in the layers panel still it will move the hexagon in this case because it is over or on top of this uh, ellipse i will show you once again so if i select this one in this case we uh, we still have some area but what if we don't have any room to select the bottom layer so it will only select the layer on top i will show you using text so let's say I will write down, I'll change the font first. So let's say I will write down something like graphics, I will change the color. Like this and I will keep it in front like this. So this is on top now. Now, as you can see, there is no room for these rectangles. But if I turn this option off and I select rectangle, I can easily move this tool or move this shape. But if I choose auto select option and I click Again, I say if I select this rectangle or this one like this and I if I try to move this, the text will be selected because it is in front of the rectangle. I will show you one more time rectangle too. But since or once I try to move this, so this is the issue that people face. That's why they don't use this option auto select option. And one more thing, let's say if I want, to, I have chosen the group option and if I want to select the individual layer like this. I have chosen the individual separate layer. But once I try to move this because the 
group option is on it will move the entire group so this is another drawback or limitation of this particular option that's why people don't use this option otherwise if you feel comfortable with it you can use it personally i don't use this option because when i work with complex designs and all overlapping layers this is this can turn out to be tricky so i choose to deselect this option and you can simply use it right click or layer panel to use to select the different layers and also this show transform controls people also get confused because they don't see these this bounding box so if you turn this off you won't be able to see the bounding box so you have to turn this option off and even if this box is isn't there you can simply press control t and you can transform the layer but it is better to turn this option on so this is the auto select option in the move tool so you decide whether you want to use this option or not so that's it for this video if you find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers